Good night, good night. Have one done tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Irma J. Spiritual Divine. I'm here to give you a little short news on tonight. Um, and first, um, first I'm going to start with, um, I spoke on you all, spoke to y'all uh, about yesterday, about the uh, airline. Now, have good news. Therefore, you know, this weekend, going to be the um, 4th of July weekend. Um. So the Delta, the Delta dropped the re rebooking fees ahead of China's uh, uh, for the July weekend. You know, so if you can re rebook your flight, there will be no charge. You know, so all shortages and delay uh, to rebooking fees. So the airlines say it will, it will allow customers to rebook their trip scheduled between July the 1st and the 4th, between 1st to 1st and the 4th, now without charging fees, you know, uh, and the ticket price is different, so Delta people are working around the clock to rebuild Delta operation. Now, you you remember um, um, airlines and airport, everything had shortage and, every, and it had delay and everybody was, um, um, flight was canceled, you know, so the, since they had all that difficulty, now they're saying you can rebook your trip. Um, there will be no fee charged. You know, they will not be charging no fee. And that's only for from between the first and the fourth. After after that everything will go back to um, to normal. But right now since they had all the difficulty, um, they're giving you a break to rebook rebuke uh, rebook your uh flight and there will be fees and no charge. You know, so the customer to rebook their trip schedule between July the 1st and the 4th uh, without charging fee. You know, so they will not charge you no fee. And that's only just for this, um, just only for this weekend, you know. So I'm glad they came up with that because they had so many uh, flights, uh, people, customer flights that was being delayed and then a lot of uh, flights had to be canceled, you know, because of the shortage. You know, so I'm glad they came up with an idea to help the customer from all the difficulties and shortages that they had. You know, so and they all working so hard around the clock to make this happen. You know, so that's the story of uh, rebooking, rebooking um, your feed, rebooking your flight for fees, no charge. Okay, uh, so now we're going to talk about the inflation or uh, shortages. And I, we, we pretty much be talking about this also more every day, you know. So, oh, uh, the inflation snapping the strength of a lot of families, you know. So a lot of families getting hit real hard, you know. They getting hit with baby formula, uh, supplies, gas, apple, you you know, shortages at the airport. I mean, they just have shortages everywhere, you know. So a lot of family is hitting this, is hitting them real hard. You know, excuse me. They had one mother. She was scared because she is pregnant and she about to soon um could see her child. And with all this baby formula going on, so they said the formula supposed to be arriving this summer. So I hope it arrive before she have her baby. You know, cause she she worrying that when she have her baby and she gonna be in the same predicament like the other mothers trying to find formula you know so we have all these shoulders uh, is going on right now you know and we uh they said the baby formula will be arriving this summer now the supplies we already know the gas is up the airport is trying to get back put everything back to schedule back to normal you know they're working so hard you know um uh, the supplies you know the only, only thing i could uh, i read on last week the supplies it's not really shows or supply, it's the shipment just coming in slowly. You know, so we have all these difficulties right here. You know, the baby farm, the, the uh, supplies, the, the shipment is coming in slowly. The gas is up. You know, the airport has shows, but they're trying to get everything back on track. You know, so um, uh, the inflation trying, also trying to uh, come up with a way to uh, get everything back on track. And yes, I'm also trying to create something to help the inflation. You know, so how can I solve 
you know, solution. You know, I am trying to um, create something that will try to help. Now, the only thing I came up with is the stimulus check. You know, that helped out the last time. You know, so uh, especially to have many families is is going through so much struggling. You know, and I think they'll help out. You know, they will need enough to pay bills into shop with to um the uh up, to operate to inflation. You know, so I I think they're a first step, and I will keep on trying to create uh something for uh for this for this uh inflation to to get back to normal. You know, so that's the, uh, the story on inflation. So um. Yeah, the last time we had we ain't had Essen in a while, but since night um twenty nineteen when they had the COVID came up, you know, so um they prepping for the Essen. The Essen is this weekend, so they prepping for it. New Orleans is prepping for the Essen, you know. So, uh, so they also restrict all vehicles from driving through the French Quarter for the weekend, you know, because you gonna have. It, you know, it's going to be packed. You're going to have so many tourists down here come, you know, going to the um, Essence, you know, they're all going to be in a French Quarter, so they don't need vehicles um, driving through, you, you know, so they restrict vehicles from tra uh, traffic in the French Quarter, you know, so, um, so during evening hours between July the 1st and the 4th, you know, you cannot drive your car through the French Quarter. You know, uh, it's been a while since we had an Essen festival due to Corona. You know, so uh, Corona is still active. You know, so all I can tell you is just be careful out there among the crowd. You know, because just like I spoke on weeks ago uh, in New York, you know, the hospital was overflowing with, um, with the COVID. And so we're going to have so many people coming down to New Orleans. You know, and the COVID ha hasn't gone away. It's still active. You know, so I need everyone to uh, to still be safe and be careful. You, you know, if you're going to have so much people from out of town, so many people from down here, you know, in, in anyone, you know, you just have to be careful because the COVID is not over with. It's still active. You know, so if you want to still bring some sanitizer with you, you still want to bring a mask with you. You know, uh, so we talk about um, to airlines. You know, they came up with an idea for the weekend because of so much shortage. You know, we're going on with the pilots, the uh, to uh, staff. You know, and uh, planes had to be um, had to be canceled. Some of uh, had plan with delay. You know, see how kind of difficult was going on with the airline. So they came up that you could rebook. Re book I know I keep saying rebuke, I'm trying, I want to rebuke the devil. Uh, rebooking your uh, your flight, and it will be uh, no fees charged. You know, so the airline said it will allow customers to rebook their trip, scheduled between July the 1st and the 4th. So you have to schedule between the, the 1st and the 4th without charges fee, you know. So you have to, if you do it now, you'll have uh, no charge uh, fee. If you do it now, you know, so, uh, and they're also working so hard around the clock, you know, remember they had shortage, so, so they're trying to work so hard to make everything try to get back on, on, on track, you know, so we also talk about the inflation, um, the shortage, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, um, trying to create, to try to, um, to try to help with the inflation to see, um, how we're going to bring everything back to standard. You know, and I said the first step is to give everyone a, a stimulus check. You know, it helped last time. You know, so I think it will help this time, and then I will try to create something else to try to help among the uh, stimulus check. You know, so we also talk about um, City Hall did prep it for the essence. You know, and I think it's a good idea to restrict the um vehicles from driving to the French Quarter because we're going to have so many tourists down here so we don't want nobody hitting nobody you know so keep you know so they want to keep all that clear between July the 1st and the 4th you know no one will be able to drive their vehicles through the French Quarter during this uh, Essen weekend um, time you know so it's been a while since we had um, Essen since the, due to the uh, Corona 
you know so the corona is it's not over with it's still active so i need everyone to still be careful out there among the crowd still carry sanitize with you in a mask you know so uh, i hope everyone enjoy yourself at the essence but just also be um careful and cautious you know so um that's all the show news i have for you on today uh y'all have a blessed night and i'll see y'all on the next video